Hi, this is Sylvia, and today I decided I was going to do a product review. I'm going to review um, this oil diffuser by Spa Vapor. Um, what is an oil diffuser? Basically, it disperses the essential oils into the air, and depending on the essential oil, it can change the mood or um, cleanse the air, depending on the property. And it actually um, how you use it is you put water inside. Right now it's on, but there's no water in there. And with this diffuser, there is a line. I'm not sure you can see that. So I would fill the water up to that line, and then I would put um, three or six drops of essential oil, um, whether it's lemon, to you know get rid of some nasty smell in my air, or just to refresh it or maybe some cinnamon or um, melaleuca slash green tree, I mean tea tree, to um, disinfect the air because it's um, cold season. Um, so basically it disperses into air and it cleanses it and it changes the mood. So that is how you use this um, diffuser and most diffusers um, are similar in terms of using it. It just looks a different little bit different um, how they build each one. Um, the features of this one is there is this lovely on and off switch in the front or right here and then you can turn this light this light it switches there's six of them and it just rotates it through it and you can turn it off and off here. Um, this is a BPA free plastic and it does work with purified water. Some of the oil diffusers require um, tap water. What I like about this this one, um, when it is done, when the water, as it's dispersing the water into the air, it removes it from inside the container. And when the water gets like, I think a quarter of an inch down, it automatically turns off. So that's one feature I really like because then I don't have to worry about, oh, is it low and is it going to stay on um, and so forth even though it's not dispersing, you know, any of the essential oils in the air. Um, it's really lightweight, um, really easy to be um, carried around portable. And it costs around um, 30 to $35, maybe up to 40 on Amazon, depending on the retailer you um, purchase it from or the retailer that is um, selling it through Amazon. Um, it's a pretty lower costing unit. Most of them are around $50 to $60, and some of them go up to, you know, in the $100 to $200 range. So those are the features I really like about this one. Of course, I have to talk about the negatives. It is lightweight. Therefore, I have a habit of um, bringing it all over the place, and as a result, I am not aware of where this little, um, little wire is, and I end up tripping over it or... You know, when you trip over a wire, it drags whatever is on one end off and plays around on the floor. Um, my, this is actually my second unit. My first unit, I did that around 12 times, and I kind of um, damaged it. So it's great that it's portable, but at the same time, if you're not aware of where you're putting it and where the wire lays, you might trip over it quite a bit and eventually end up doing the unit. The other thing I don't really like about it is there's this slit right here and I'm guessing the slit is to allow the little motor in there to have um, you know to cool down to get air and so forth but unfortunately when you're filling it with water if you get water in this slit the unit stops working um, me and my girlfriends have found that if you let it dry or turn it over and let it dry after a day it will start working again but if you um, get water in here then it will keep the unit from working. So you have to be careful to fill the water from one of the other three sides. And finally, I don't like the fact that there is a little bit of water left in here. Um, after, when the unit turns off, I understand why that happens because there's not enough water for the um, ceramic disc to disperse the, um, the essential oils into the air. But as but the thing is, this unit 
kind of um, can't stay wet for long periods of time. And maybe that's not coming out right. But basically, if you leave that little reserve of water in there for days on end, um, then um, calcium builds up around the little inside right here. I'm not sure you can see it. And that will make it hard for the unit to work. So I try to remember to pour out my leftover water at the end of the night because I do use this on a daily basis. So my tip is try to keep it in one place or try to remember the places you do keep it. That way you're not tripping over the um, wire and clean it out every couple of days um, besides um, you know, pouring out the extra water that comes with low brush and you just scrub the inside here just to remove any calcium or mineral buildup. And that's it. Um, if you're interested in looking at this on Amazon, there is a link below. Also, um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be really appreciated. And that's about it. Have a great day.